Hello, it's Alex here from WPEagle.com. Now in this video, what we're gonna be doing is updating the free clicks theme, and I'm running on the demo site, the 2015 demo.wpeagle.com. Now I know a lot of you are running free clicks because uh, you've watched one of my videos, and there was an important um, update that came out uh, just yesterday, I think, um, which fixes a security issue, which a number of themes have uh, have got at the moment. So a lot of themes need upgrade, updating. So um, what I'm gonna do is update it using FTP, because I think that's the safest way to do it. And what I'm doing does apply to pretty much any theme that you're running, if, as long as you've got a child theme installed. Um, so if you're not running free clicks, this may also work for you too. And what we'll also do is update WordPress core as well because there was an update that came up for that yesterday as well, again, addressing some security issues. So I'm logged into the demo site and I'm gonna go into dashboard and we'll update WordPress first. So generally when there's a WordPress update, you'll just get a message here and you can click please update now. And most of the time it will all be fine. Um, if you're on TSO host, um, which again, a lot of my subscribers and visitors and viewers are, um, they do regular backups, so um, you don't have to worry too much if things go wrong because they will be able to roll it back for you. They generally take a backup a day, sometimes more than one a day, so you should be okay. But anyway, click update now and that will update WordPress and it will download it and install it all for you. It takes a, a couple of minutes, but with the wonders of video editing, it only took a few seconds. Okay, so uh, that's our WordPress updated. So now uh, let's update the free clicks theme. So what you obviously need to do is head over to Theme Forest and you need to download a copy uh, of the latest version. So I'm gonna click, you should have a link there if you've already purchased it. Or you can find it in your downloads page, which looks like this. So I'm gonna click download and click all files. That will be fine, that folder will be fine. Just save it somewhere on your computer that you can find it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a look at that zip file that we've downloaded, I'm gonna expand it, extract it, unzip it, that kind of thing. So it's doing its thing. Okay, and then you'll find within there there's a folder called WP Final Pack, and in there, there's a couple of folders, one called Free Clicks and one called Free Clicks Child Theme. The one we're gonna be using is the Free Clicks. Okay, so next what we need to do is uh, FTP ourselves into the website. Now, I'm gonna do it uh, using my TSO host account. Um, if you're using a different hosting provider, it may be slightly different. Basically, what you need to do is log into your hosting control panel and get your FTP details. So I've got my control panel here, my TSO um, host control panel. And what I need to do is go into FTP accounts. And then I need to add a new FTP account. So I'm just gonna call it Eagle. So the username there is eagle at 2015demo.wpeagle.com. Then I'm gonna add a password. And obviously you need to remember these details. Then click um, create FTP account, but obviously you can use whatever username and password you wish. Okay, so now you're gonna need a FTP client. Um, so TSO host recommend FileZilla there for the uh, Windows um, people. Obviously I'm on a Mac here and I use a program called Fetch, which is a great little FTP client. But basically if you do a Google for an FTP client, FTP software, you'll find um, something that you can download for free. And what you need to do is put your details in here. So if I look over here, this is my FTP IP. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste that into the host name. The username is here, the one we just created. Put that in there. And then the password, which I obviously created and I can remember. And I'm gonna click connect. Okay, and then when you log in, you'll see something very similar to this. What you need to do is go into public HTML. Now basically what we're looking at here are all the files and folders that are on our web hosting that make up WordPress. And then if we go into WP content, and then themes, and here are our themes. So you've got the uh, default WordPress themes, and then we've got our free clicks and free clicks child theme. Now, um, we're running the child theme, and what that basically means is that any modifications that we make within there um, don't get messed up when we do an update like we are now, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna update the free clicks theme, which is um, as, it as it comes. Um, if you don't understand that, and you haven't made any changes to the child theme, do not worry. 
So what I'm gonna do, just in case anything goes wrong, is I'm gonna get the free clicks folder and I'm going to rename it. Again, this will depend on the client you're using. I just went get info there on the Mac. I'm gonna call it free clicks old. It's our old theme. Um, so if anything is wrong, I can just simply rename that back to free clicks and we'll be back to where we were. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the um, the free clicks folder that we just, um, from within the zip file that we just expanded, extracted. And then I'm gonna just copy that and it's gonna upload that then over via FTP. Now that's gonna take a couple of minutes as we can see. So I'll do a quick edit and uh, speed up time. Okay, so that's all done. Now, if we go back into our website, we were currently running 3.56, I think it was something, or 3.54, and we're upgrading to 3.6, so we need to check that that's worked. So what I'm gonna do is go into Appearance and Themes. Okay. <clears throat> and we can see there's two free clicks here. One is the old one, which is this one. Oh no, that's the new one. Version 3.6, this is the old one. 3.54. So, um, but we'll be running 3.6 because that's the one that's called um, free clicks. So let's just double check that the front of the site is okay. And it all looks fine. Okay, so there's a couple of plugins that it's saying that we need to update as well, uh, the page builder and slider revolution. So in order to do that, if we go into plugins, look the G1 page builder there and slider revolution there. Okay, so let's do um, revolution slider first. So if you go to revolution slider down here, and then scroll down to the bottom of this page, there's a button here that says manual plugin update. Now within the uh, zip file that we extracted, um, the, the free clicks one that we just got from Theme Forest, if we have a look within the free clicks folder, there's a plugins folder and in here we'll find rev slider. So if we just select that, click update slider. That gives us uh, the latest version of Revolution Slider. So the last one we need to do is the G1 Page Builder. Probably the easiest way to do that is going to Plugins and find the G1 Page Builder. It's there. Let's deactivate it. And delete it. And it's gone, now we can click begin install and plugin. Click install. And we're all done. Okay, so I think we're all up to date. There's obviously a few other updates here in terms of uh, some other plugins that you may be running. As I say, there was quite a few updates yesterday due to a security uh, flaw or vulnerability that was detected. So I would recommend you update everything that you can and you should be fine. Now the last thing we need to do is just, uh, we might as well delete that, um, the old theme, as everything seems to be working fine. So um, the best way to do that is um, via FTP probably. So do, let's go back into our fetch. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select that old one that I renamed and I'm just gonna delete it. So that's deleted. So now let's just double check everything's okay back on the website. I'm gonna go back to appearance and themes. So yeah, we've just got the two themes in here, which is perfect. Um, click on theme details, we can see we're on 3.6. So we're all done. Let's just double check the front is all okay and uh, I'm sure it will be. I hope you found this video useful and uh, good luck updating your theme. I'll say it is essential that you do it because there is a security vulnerability in the older versions. Uh, if you get stuck or have any questions, then please leave a comment below or get in touch with me via my website, which is at wpeagle.com, and uh, I will see you soon.